Okay, next target. Hey, there's our buddy. I wouldn't stand back there. Seventy-eight degrees, west wind at fifteen miles an hour. Okay, here's what the radar looks like. We'll be shooting mostly with the wind. Looks like there'll be a shade of right to left. Session twenty-one. This will be the first session with slugs. So fun with slugs. Everybody likes slugs. These are NSA two forty-nine diameter, twenty-six point eight grain hollow point slugs. I've had just a little bit of a chance to play around with these initially and I'm pretty sure they will shoot below 900 feet per second, which is good because this rifle kind of maxes out at 56, 57 pounds and I don't even like to run it up that high. It's loud. It wastes a lot of air when you run it up real high. All the videos so far have been run at a regulator pressure of 2500 PSI. That's kind of where I settled in, kind of in the middle. Some people run these at 2,000, 2,200, and some people, you know, run them all the way up to where Air Venturi sets them at 2,900. I just think that it's it's definitely, I think it's more efficient at 2,500. I can get 48, 40 foot-pound shots with a 25.4. Now I was always looking for a higher shot count than I was power. All right, let's get to uh, shooting uh, wind. We're going to be shooting with the wind. It is gusty, pretty breezy, 15 miles an hour. We'll see how this works. I'm going to dial back the elevation to 10 and see if I can put one on the paper back there. I've shot a few of these. I've just played around with them. Let's see how it goes. Okay, top left target, and I'm just going to hold center and kind of see where we land down there. 858. See if we're going to come close to that same spot or a little different. 858. 856. Everything going left. 800. 61. Still everything's between an inch and a half left and two and a half left, so it's it's in that vertical window. 858. That one looked like it did something funky. 854. That one I about hit the bullseye. What's our average? Average speed's 858. Let's uh, let's try and go a little bit faster. And typically, um, what I'll do is, if the gun starts sounding like there's a lot of excess air behind the slug, typically that's when I'll start to back things back down. Next target, hold on center. 872. Wind is pretty still. 870. One thing about these slugs is, it does take some force to close the lever and put them into the breech. 868. 875. Now I do have three of them in a nice little group high left. 868. See, one more shot on this target. 865. And a little bit low. What's the spread on those? Two and a half, three inches, except for that one that's way low. All right, next target. 872. Low left. 865. A lot of variation in elevation so far. And maybe that's because of the wind. 870. Yeah, just within those three shots, that's a full two and a half inches difference in elevation. 872. That one kind of took a hard left. 870. 865. Pretty mixed groups so far. Let's go another half turn for this last target. See what happens when we get above kind of 880. 879. 875. I think those two are touching. 877. Three within an inch. 877. 872. That's four within an inch. 800. 
77. That's five out of six within an inch and a half. Six out of six within two to two and a half inches probably. So maybe it does like the additional speed. Okay, I gotta keep an eye on how much air we're using. There's no way we're gonna get through 48 shots with as high as I'm turning up the hammer spring. So I turned up the hammer spring another half turn, so we're at two and a half turns in. The hammer spring on this rifle is not the standard. I did shim it. I shimmed it to uh, take all the slack out of it. So when it's at its lowest point, it shoots 38, 39 foot-pounds when it's dialed all the way down. Okay, let's see. So this is probably going to be closer to 890. Bottom left. 800. 77. Yeah, I was only going 877. 884. So that flew nice and straight, but it did end up two inches lower than where that first one landed. 886. So now I've got a spread of three inches high to low. Three more. 884. It's like they're flying nice and straight. That one did not look like it flew straight. That one looked bad. So it seems like this so far is the most inconsistent group. It makes me feel like I should dial the velocity back down. 800. Yeah, that one 86. was wide left. It's kind of scattering them now. Like there's a lot of excess air after the slug. And that's probably throwing off our accuracy. So I'm actually going to dial it back down to two turns and that'll get us back around 870. In my mind it looks like that was where we had better results than at 880. I'm at 2800 now so I should just go ahead and fill up. Alright we're back and target 6 and I dialed the speed back down to two turns. Should be around 870. Looks like the winds have calmed down a little bit so let's see how we end up with this group. 891. Well, I thought I turned it down. 884. Didn't see it. Was that in the same hole? All right, well, let's not change anything. It appears to be working. 884. 884. Hit the bull again. Does it like 884? 881. I got the bullseye surrounded. All right, last shot on this target. 884. And that was hidden pretty tight, too. So that's a two inch group left to right. Pellets would be two inch group average. Yeah, that's not bad. 884. Let's shoot the next group and see if it tightens up anymore. Maybe the barrel's getting leaded in for this particular slug. I'm going to wait on the wind here. Yeah, maybe it took a lot of rounds just to get the barrel leaded in for this particular slug. And I just cleaned the barrel 50, 100 shots ago. 884. Must like 884. 881. Hit the bull again. 881. 800. 79. I think I same hold that one. So we're at two turns on the hammer spring. Let's just back the hammer spring all the way back out and make sure we're at two turns. We are. So one, two. So we're at two turns and we're shooting 884 to 879. Yeah, see, when we went to two and a half turns, we really didn't gain anything. So all that was just waste air, that extra half turn. So at this pressure, 2,500 pounds, two turns and about 880, it looks like, is about the most we're going to get in terms of velocity. It seems like that it's quite happy with 880. I got four shots on that last group. Put two more on it, and the wind has calmed back down. 879. Just high left. 875. About an inch and a half range. Inch and three quarter. 
and the high to low looks real good. It looks like we're in a one inch band. So initially for these NSA slugs, in my mind, I think they're working pretty good. Looks like we've dropped back a little bit on the speed. I'm going to give it an eighth turn so we can get back up around that 880. Okay, last target, a little bit of wind. 875. All right, not so much wind anymore. Looks like it calmed down pretty good. 881. A little high. 877. 800. 77. And that one looked just kind of like a flyer. 879. So low and left. And last one. 879. Last one, I caught the edge of the bull. Good way to finish, right? Okay, so conclusions. I think 880 is probably a good place to start, and that's kind of the, the top end of where this rifle can shoot at least at this pressure at 2500 pounds one and a half two inch groups on a windy day but it seems like the flyers are fewer we'll try these slugs again on a different session 880 is where it appears that we had pretty good success a lot of them coming in real close to the bull not too many flyers it looks like everything wanted to go left for the most part all right, well, pretty good session, pretty informative since this is the first time that we've shot slugs. More slugs to come. It's a lot of fun. Okay, see you next time.